Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the National Immunization Schedule 2023 update. The National Immunization Schedule recommends TD vaccine for pregnant women. For pregnant women, we give only one vaccine that is TD vaccine which protects against two diseases. Initially it was TT which was against which was tetanus toxoid given against tetanus. Now it is TD that small d is for diphtheria. We give two doses of it that is first dose as soon as the pregnancy is confirmed. The dose is 0.5 ml intramuscular given in the upper arm preferably in the non-dominant arm in order to avoid the pain. The second dose of TD is given after one month that is four weeks after TD1. The dose is same 0.5 ml intramuscular upper arm. In case if the pregnancy is detected within three years of previous TD doses then you can give only one TD booster dose. Dose, root and site remains the same. So what is this TD vaccine? We are giving TD vaccine instead of TT vaccine. TT is tetanus toxide which was previously given. Now it is TD. TD vaccine is the combination of tetanus and diphtheria with lower concentration of diphtheria antigen present in this vaccine. So it is called as TD vaccine. TD vaccine is sensitive to both extremes of temperature that is it is sensitive to freezing and also to heat. Open vial policy is applicable for TD vaccine and shake test is also applicable. What is this open vial policy? The vaccine vials opened in the session site can be used more than one immunization session up to four weeks if the following conditions are satisfied. That is expiry date has not passed. Then vaccine stored strictly under appropriate temperature range during the transportation and storage at the cold chain point. Then vaccine vial septum has not submerged in water or any contamination in any way. Also, the antiseptic technique has been followed to withdraw all the doses of vaccine. Then vaccine vial monitor has not reached the discard point. So this open vial policy is applicable for DPT, TT, Hepatitis B, oral polio vaccine, liquid pentavalent, PCV and injectable polio vaccine. Most of the times, these reconstituted vaccines will not follow this open vial policy. Otherwise, the vaccines mentioned here follow this open vial policy. That is, it can be used in more than one session of immunization up to four weeks if it follows the following conditions. Now, before going to the proper immunization schedule, I want you all to keep these points in mind. So, if you remember this one slide carefully, then the entire presentation is going to be very easy. The national immunization schedule is going to be very easy for you. Then you can completely remember this in immunization schedule easily. First is the route of vaccination. Oral route of vaccination is provided for OPV, rotavirus and vitamin A. OPV you have two drops of oral polio vaccine and rotavirus you have five drops. Vitamin A is one ml for children less than one year of age and 2 ml for children more than 1 year of age. So, the oral vaccines are OPV, rotavirus and vitamin A. Having the dose as 2 drops, 5 drops and 1 ml or 2 ml respectively. Then we have intradermal group of vaccines that is BCG and IPV. Remember, whenever intradermal dose is given, we have 0.1 ml as the dose. So, for BCG and IPV, intradermal route is followed with the dose of 0.1 ml. We have subcutaneous route of injection that is followed for JE and MR. Only these two vaccines follow subcutaneous vaccine that is JE and MR. The dose is again 0.5 ml. Both this intradermal and subcutaneous vaccines are given in the arm. All the other vaccines, for example, this hepatitis B, your pentavalent vaccine, PCV, DPT and TD are given as intramuscular vaccines and the dose remains 0.5 ml. Both subcutaneous and uh, intramuscular will have the 0.5 ml dose so these vaccines hepatitis B, Pentavac, PCV, DPT and TD are given IM. The site of the vaccine is anterolateral aspect of the thigh intramuscularly. For hepatitis B it is given in the left side. For pentavalent also it is given in the left side. For PCV it is given in the right side. DPT is given in the left side. Uh, TD it is given in the arm. For only the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine we provide it in the right, right anterolateral aspect of the thigh. All the other vaccines we provide it in the left side except for TD which is provided in the arm. Diluent is needed for three vaccines that is BCG, MR and JE. So for BCG, MR, JE we need diluents. So then you need to remember one, po uh, one point, the maximum age of consideration at birth 6, 10, 14 weeks can be given up to one year of age except this hepatitis B and OPV. Hepatitis B should be given within 24 hours and OPV can be given up to five years of age. Other than this, all birth vaccines and 6, 10, 14 vaccines can be given up to one year of age. Then we need to remember at birth we need to give three vaccines. 
6th and 14 weeks, 3 vaccines. 6, 14 and 9 months, we have 2 vaccines. 9 months, 16 to 24 months, we have 2 separate vaccines. And vitamin A, 9 doses we need to give. So all these things will be in the immunization schedule. We will go to the immunization schedule straight away. So for infants, that is at birth, we have 3 vaccines. That is BCG, Hepatitis B and OPV. As I told, out of this, BCG is an intradermal vaccine. Hepatitis B is an intramuscular vaccine. OPV is a oral vaccine. For OPV, we have 2 drops. And intramuscular Hepatitis B, we have 0.5 ml. Then we have uh, BCG, that is 0.1 ml. If it is more than 1 month, if it is less than 1 month, we have 0.05 ml. Then we have diluent as sodium chloride for BCG. Then the site, as I mentioned earlier, uh, all the intramuscular injections will be on the ant anterolateral side of the thigh. Ex pneumococcal conjugate vaccine will be in the right side. All the other vaccine will be in the left side. Uh, left side anterolateral aspect of the thigh, we will provide this hepatitis B vaccine. On the left upper arm, we have this BCG vaccine. So this can be given up to one year of age. Hepatitis B can be given up to 24 hours of life. OPV birth dose, this is called as OPV birth dose, which can be given up to 15 days of birth. Otherwise, OPV can be given up to 5 years of age. For infants at 6, 10 and 14 weeks, we have 3 vaccines. That is 6, 10 and 14, 3 vaccines. That is OPV, pentavalent, rotavirus. We all know OPV 1, 2, 3, that is doses. That is given as a bivalent for the polio strains 1 and 3. Pentavalent vaccine contains uh, DPT, that is diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, hepatitis B and haemophilus influenza B. Rotavirus also, we have 3 doses at 6, 10 and 14 weeks. All these vaccines can be given up to one year of age except for OPV which can be given up to five years of age. So this OPV dosage is already covered. Pentavac, it is given intramuscular. As we told, Pentavac also will be in the left uh, anterolateral uh, side of the mid thigh. Dose is 0.5 ml. Rotavirus is oral and five drops. We know OPV, rotavirus and uh, vitamin A are oral uh, vaccines. OPV is two drops. Rotavirus is five drops. Vitamin A is one ml or uh, 2 ml depending upon the age. Now for infants, 6, 10, 14 weeks is over. Now infants at 6, 14 weeks, we are supposed to give fractional IPV and pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. This pneumococcal conjugate vaccine is an intramuscular vaccine. 0.5 ml can be given up to one year of age and it is the only intramuscular injection which is given at the right side of the anterolateral aspect of the thigh. This fractional IPV is intradermal we told there are two intradermal vaccines that is fractional IPV and BCG. So the dose is 0.1 ml. We are supposed to give this in right upper arm because the other intradermal injection, other intradermal injection BCG is given in the left arm. This dose is given in the right arm, but the next dose will be in the left side. So fractional IPV will be given in the right side first dose and left side second dose. So it can be given up to one year of age and uh, both these uh, vaccines no, don't need any diluents. So this is OPV, rotavirus, fractional IPV, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, then we have Pentavac. This 6 and 14 weeks vaccines, that is fractional IPV and pneumococcal conjugate, will be, con uh, will be given one more dose at 9 months. So the dose remains the same, 0.1 ml intradermal left upper arm. Here you have to note that the site has changed. The first dose was at right upper arm. Now it, this is left upper arm. Pneumococcal conjugate vaccine is 0.5 ml intradermal anterolateral uh, side of the mid thigh. Here it is right. So we all know uh, the only vaccine which is provided on the right side of the anterolateral aspect of the th mid thigh, it is the uh, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. Both these vaccines have been given at 6 and 14 weeks. So now it can be given up to 1 year of age. Then we have at 9 months we have measles and JE. Both are subcutaneous. Both are subcutaneous route. The dose remains the same 0.5 ml. Measles uh, will be given in the uh, right upper arm and JE will be given in the left upper arm. And these vaccines can be given up to 5 years of age. We have dilute for this MR and JE vaccine. Now we are moving from infant vaccination to children vaccination. That is at one and a half years of age or precisely 16 to 24 months of age. We give these five vaccines that is OPV booster, two drops oral. Then we have vitamin A oral dose. If the child has crossed one year, then we are supposed to give vitamin A 2 ml oral. Now we are moving to the measles rubella that is second dose 0.5 ml subcutaneous upper arm right the two uh, mr vaccines will be provided at the upper arm right side only the fractional uh, ipv will be uh, first one will be given in the right side and the second one will be given in the left side but uh, yeah, mr vaccine will be given in the right side uh, you can remember this way mr r stands for right so you can remember right upper arm 
on the other hand je vaccine it is in the left upper side uh, left upper arm subcutaneous 0.5 ml then we have one dpt booster also dpt booster we all know that it is in the anterolateral aspect of the thigh intramuscular 0.5 ml at 5 to 6 years of age one dpt booster only one vaccine only one vaccine at 5 to 6 years of age that is dpt uh, also we have one vaccine at 10 and 16 years of age that is your td again the vaccine which was provided for the pregnant mother will be provided here also it is both are provided in the upper arm intramuscular uh, preferably the non dominant arm to avoid the pain so td is tetanus and uh, uh, diphtheria thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share it to your friends click on the like button subscribe to our channel thank you for watching this video